Hey y'all, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm so excited because the garden shed is done. My name is Tequisha, this is our freedom song, and I am so happy that you are here. The garden shed is completely painted, stained, Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this y'all and I cannot wait to show you the completed look because it's so beautiful. I know some of you were unsure about the color that I picked, the sachet sand, but oh my goodness, it has come out so well. It's so beautiful um, and so, and so what I wanna do is I want to start from the beginning, kind of how this process went, how it took off. It was March 25th that I came out and saw Thomas building our foundation, which made my heart so happy. He did the same thing with our greenhouse build. I didn't actually know he was starting that day. I just came out and he had started and I was like, wait, what's going on here? And so that always makes me really, really happy. So this is where he is starting from today and oh, I could just can't even believe that this frame is up like oh my goodness my heart. So this front frame is officially on. I'm back here. Let's go check out what Thomas is, what he's doing. Looks like he's putting in a window. Hey love, looking good, <laughs> looking very good. Well, I'm talking about you first, but then. <laughs> Man, this is coming together so nicely. You're incredible. <laughs> try and try again yes <laughs> so this is the making of our garden shed closet <laughs> Thomas made a special room for all of the lawnmowers and weed eater well, there's only one lawnmower but the weed eater and those type of things that are for yard maintenance he uh, built this room right here and so this is the doorway looking out to the garden so nice oh my goodness I really love this layout because this will be a wall so that means I can do some shelves here and then on the inside of this wall this will be the other window so I'll be able to overwinter plants over here I'm really excited about that so spacious and then we'll get a little bit more back this way so I'll have the another extra section of the garden I'm probably going to do some trees because um, we were gifted some elderberry and we were gifted some fig and so we might just have a fig tree garden on this side.
for the garden shed, I knew that I wanted to have windows in the front. We had some leftover windows from our greenhouse build um, from last year. I can't believe it's been one year, like almost to the T one year ago that our greenhouse was started and finished. This definitely must be our sweet spot. Like, do I need to dream up anything else that I need to tell my husband about right now so he could be thinking about for the next year? I don't think so because <laughs> I don't think so because my heart is happy and it's so content because I have everything that I need out here um, to have such a, an incredible gardening experience. And so back to the story. I knew that I wanted the windows in the garden shed because one of the things that is a priority to me is being able to not only store and organize all of our garden pots and garden tools and all the things, but also the things that I need to overwinter. Because last year, I used our laundry room to overwinter our peppers, which was fine. There was a space right in there for them. But our citrus plants, I didn't have a place for them in the house. And so they were overwintering inside of the greenhouse. And that was okay because they were very small, but they've grown and I'm hoping they are going to grow. And so I really wanted a garden shed that could be dual purpose. I could put some of these plants that need to overwinter where a window was so that it would get some light and still be completely covered and safe um, from harm. And so from the harm of the frost. And so I really, really, really wanted it to have windows not only is it beautiful but it's functional as well because this space over here primarily has our fruit trees and bushes as well as the beginning of our flower garden right our cut flower garden i didn't know if i wanted to go with having some type of rock over here or mulch over here. And so we really just kind of landed on keeping our flowers and plants mulched, but then using the rocks to create this beautiful space, this seating area that is in our mind so that we can come out here and be able to sit down and have this really um, beautiful space to you know have lunch or maybe even a dinner If we can get these mosquitoes under control, let's talk about that because you won't see me out here eating a dinner with mosquitoes all around. But that is a different, that is a totally different note. <laughs> I've actually recently ordered something that I'm hoping is going to work. And so y'all know, I'm definitely going to be keeping you posted about that because they have all these different things that, and you don't really know if they work until you get them and try them out. But listen, if they work here, they can work anywhere because here in the South, in South Carolina, we have crazy mosquitoes. They're crazy. So Thomas and I discussed what we wanted and we went with rock. 
um, my initial thought was going to be like more of a cream rock but they didn't have that where we are we had to work with what we had options for and so we went ahead and got the crushed gravel I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it at first I'm like oh that's not what I'm thinking you know how you have a thought in your mind you're like this is not it this is not what I'm thinking but after oh my goodness after the kids laid all of the rock down I was like oh my goodness I love this I just love how nice and tidy it is we have a mulch in our whole entire garden and I love the mulch I absolutely love the mulch but this does give a slightly different feel um, and so which I love I love that the the garden is you know it's developing such character it has such a character um, of its own and I love that so as you know I went back and forth with the color I got down to two really beautiful colors the cottage door which is this very beautiful blue um, has some gray in it it's very in my mind very neutral blue and then the sachet sand which is actually kind of a pink color it's a very neutral soft pink color almost like you mix baby pink and tan together that's kind of like what it is and so but it's not tan it is definitely it definitely has a pink blush uh, like a soft rose blush color it's so hard to explain and I don't know how good it comes through the lens but it's beautiful and I'm so I was going back and forth with those two colors I asked you guys what you thought I chose and only like four of you guys thought I chose Sasha San. I'm like oh my goodness my gardening friends are about to be so disappointed <laughs> I had already bought the paint and um, I was just so shocked that no one else picked that color it was hard because cottage door is such a beautiful name and all the things and so anyway um, the sachet sand was the color that I picked and I imagined uh, that it would just be so beautiful here tucked in the garden and it would give a nice backdrop like not too much of a pop but enough pop and it will allow me to play a little bit to maybe build and create a um, cottage kind of feel you know with the flowers all around to me it also felt very feminine and I love that because I am the one who is primarily in the garden and I never paint anything like feminine like everything is like very neutral and I love blacks and I love wood and I love blue you know and so everything is very neutral so this is the most feminine thing that I have <laughs> asked for and so and I I love it I absolutely love it I knew that I wanted to leave the door wood and I wanted to leave the window wood but I knew I had to paint the white windows so with those windows being white it really like solidified for me that I knew that I didn't want any white on the shed I knew it by seeing those windows and so what I originally thought was that I would stain the door stain the window Stained the window that was already wooden just a nice fresh coat of stain and then paint the window black but even in that thought I was like "Ooh, is that even gonna work so there's things that I'm thinking that I honestly didn't know if they were gonna work 
I just needed to do them to see. And I was second guessing myself, y'all. Like I was second guessing myself. <laughs> I was like, so once the whole shed was painted, I was like, oh my goodness, like what? Is this what I was imagining? Because what it is, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cultivate or create in real life a feeling that I had in my heart. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense, but I'm trying to like create something that I feel. And so, and I don't have a visual because there's nothing else. There's nothing else that looks like what I felt inside, like how I wanted to feel when I looked at the garden shed. It's the same thing with the greenhouse. This is a feeling. It's a feeling that I wanted to express, have an outward expression of. And the greenhouse is definitely it. It's it's so beautiful to me and when I look at it I know every single day I'm going to think that that's beautiful I'm never going to run out of thinking that I'm so happy with the way that, that looks because it matches a feeling inside <laughs> is this so cheesy y'all it doesn't even matter because it's true it is so true okay so as we're painting I'm like oh my goodness started to stain the door and this happened. So I've gotten this far into staining and I realize that I don't like it. That's not what I'm going for. I love, absolutely love this color right here. But I think I'm going to need to paint this door because I don't love those two colors next to each other. And I love the lighter brown more than this brown and so I'm thinking that I need to go ahead and paint this door and paint the window I think I'm gonna need to paint the window and the door since I already need to paint this window as well I didn't like it I did not like it there is such a fine line when I'm thinking about wood and there are some woods that I can appreciate the fact that it's wood, but I don't like the color. <laughs> so the color is so specific to me. I like very warm tones, rather that is a light warm or dark warm, but once they get too dark, they start to kind of take on like a red undertone for me. And that is not my jam. 
Um, and so when I stained the door and it turned into that deep brown red, I was like, and up against the warm wood, I was like, oh no, oh no. What is my plan B? I don't have a plan B. <laughs> And so I had to step way back. And I'm talking about when I step way back, I had to step way back all the way to the, to the driveway, like over 150 feet away to look at that and be like, no, I definitely know that that's not what I feel. <laughs> I know that's not what I feel. And so I was like, oh man, I posted it on our Instagram page. Listen, if you're not, if you're on Instagram and you're not following us yet, please do please do come over there and give me a follow y'all because I'm able to post things on there so much faster, but I still post it here and this is in a longer format, right? That's just like a quick, you know, snippet or whatever, but I posted it in my stories and I was like, I don't like it. Um, and I didn't know what I was going to do. And I was thinking, cause I think that black makes everything better. So I was like, you know what? I might just have to go with black. So I ran to the store, I got a bucket of black paint that's flat because I wanted it to still be kind of matte and just started to paint it and to see what happens. But what I didn't want to happen was it to have too many colors or feel so busy. I didn't want that to happen and I was afraid and I didn't know until I did it. I didn't know until I did it and y'all, So my son, he came out and painted it for me. And I took a look, I walked away, came back, and I was like, oh my goodness. This is that feeling that I have in the inside. And so I loved it. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. I didn't want to paint the door because I wanted to keep it wood, but it was necessary to all come together. And so, Black door is, black door is kept the trim nice and warm wood. So beautiful, okay, so very beautiful. So he came up and just finished everything up for me. I pretty much just painted the front of it and the kids came out and I'm so grateful for all the different help because I can't do it all. <laughs> and so um, I tried to treat them well and say, okay, I have a job for y'all. <laughs> we do have a busy life, just like everyone has a busy life, you know? And so we are a homeschooling family. You know, we have this incredibly large garden, which, you know, takes a good bit of hand to maintain you have to be on top of this you know i'm so grateful for the irrigation that's on the right side of the garden um, with all the veggies and i am going to be getting it all done over here for the flowers as well i just haven't gotten to it yet but that is a big help with just making sure the garden stays hydrated I'm so grateful that we have it over there and I look forward to having the left side of our garden watered automatically as well. I think that that's going to be so great. I'm I was less concerned because it's mostly flowers. We do have sweet potatoes growing on this side as well as some tomatoes growing on this side, but for the most part, it's all of our flowers and we hand water. We recently pulled up all of the potatoes that were in the two beds that's right in front of our garden shed and um it was such a good thing i'm so happy still 
um, that we did that potato harvest we got 60 pounds y'all 60 pounds of potatoes which is wild that is the largest amount of potatoes that we've gotten so far this is our third year gardening this is our third spring year the first year was just a few like potatoes here and there and then our second year it was like a some handfuls but then this year to have 60 pounds is incredible and so my heart's so happy about that still like that's going to be so much food for our family it's so exciting <laughs> okay well i am ready to show you the finished look i am ready to show you how absolutely beautiful this garden shed looks oh my goodness let's do it I cannot wait to hear what it is that you think about our newly built garden shed. Definitely, listen, definitely drop a comment down below. It would make my heart so happy. It would make my heart so happy. So there are some finishing touches to come out and make, but I couldn't hold my piece any longer. I needed you guys to see that this garden shed is gorgeous. <laughs> so I need to come out and clean up the paint off of the windows, actually clean the windows. They haven't been cleaned yet, as well as touch up a few areas that some paint dripped down. Um, just, just really clean it up. I'm um, also planting out these two beds in front of the garden shed. I asked you guys what you thought that I could plant here that would last through the summer and loves the heat. And the two top things were zinnias as well as some cosmos, which is what I'm planning to plant here. I'm gonna plant some cosmos. I have seeds on the way. I threw some zinnia seeds down. I also planted some zinnias as well as some hibiscus which is another plant that needs to be overwintered um, and so i'm going to think about really what to do with that like if i want to build something like a cage over the hibiscus or just dig them up i'm also thinking next year i may plant dahlias in this bed and just keep it flowers since it's going to be right in front of the garden shed um, i would love to think about what i want to put here that's going to be so pleasing and satisfying to look out and i don't have to worry about it dying <laughs> like all of the potatoes when they die they look pretty crazy <laughs> and so I want to put them off to the side somewhere so I might switch some things around next year for sure I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this I think that it's very unique actually it does have you know a character of its own i've never seen anything exactly like this you know with the black and the trimmed out wood and with the sachet sand and so it does have a bit of its own unique character which i love and i wanted to create something like that like i wanted it to be normal enough <laughs> if that makes sense but still have a little bit of edge some uniqueness and this definitely does it for me i i absolutely love it and i can't wait to hear what you guys think as always y'all thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for clicking this video i hope that you do give it a thumbs up if you love it or if you don't love it but you love me 
give it a thumbs up and like I said come over to Instagram and if you're on that platform please give me a follow because I am trying to reach as many people as I can with this garden message just of encouragement and so and I'm hoping to do that on that platform as well so thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey that we call our freedom song I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in our next garden adventure